What's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to a new video. So today I want to show you some hidden tricks and features which you didn't know that your Huawei Mate 10 Pro can do. So I'd say, let's go. Scaling apps on the full view display. So one of the biggest hooks with the Mate 10 Pro is the new 18 by 9 aspect ratio, 6 inch full HD plus display. Now even though there are a lot of 18x9 phones in 2017, some apps just aren't built to sit naturally on that aspect ratio. But no worries, there is a solution built in in EMUI 8. So if you launch an application that isn't built to naturally scale to the Mate 10 Pro screen, the phone will give you the option to expand it to fit in the display. Now this works quite well and we have tested it also with apps which are a few years old. One-handed mode. So even though the 18 by 9 aspect ratio makes the phone a bit smaller, it's still quite large if you have small hands. Now Huawei's native one-handed mode is a great solution for people with smaller hands. A swipe along the navigation bar activates it and a tap in the dead space around the shrunken display expands the screen again. The navigation dock. The navigation dock is another helpful feature that can be enabled in the settings. The navigation dock is an easier method for navigating through the UI. With a tap to go back, a long press to return home and a long press and swipe to switch between apps. So if you want, you can also hide the standard buttons now and just use the navigation dock. App shortcuts. With Android 8.0 Oreo on board, you can long press on selected apps to get some handy shortcuts. Now, this doesn't work with all apps, but Huawei has added the functionality to some of its own apps and as well as some Google's native offerings. Getting back the app drawer. One of the biggest changes from stock Android in Huawei's Emotion UI is the loss of the apps drawer, meaning you have to keep all of your installed apps on your home screens. Because many users complained about this in the past, Huawei has added the ability to switch back to the app drawer and customize it. So you can find this feature in the system settings. App cloning. So Huawei considers this feature as one of EMUI's biggest selling points. App Twin, as you might expect from its name, allows you to create a duplicate application so you can log in into two different accounts at the same time. Now owners of a European model can duplicate WhatsApp or Facebook, while Chinese models can duplicate QQ or WeChat. So it's a pretty handy feature if you have a business and a personal account. Desktop mode. So simply plug your phone into an external monitor and you're instantly given a full screen desktop experience based on the Android operating system on the Huawei smartphone. It's very simple to set up and works very well, with control features available on your phone, so there is no need for an external keyboard, a mouse or adapter. Just simply plug in the USB Type-C cable into your Huawei Mate 10 Pro and you should feel it vibrate. If that is the first time using easy projection, then a series of screens will guide you through the way. On the desktop, there are shortcuts to Chrome, email, video stored on your phone and the gallery. All these are simple to use and provide a full desktop experience. Also, the Mate 10 Pro is the first smartphone which is able to do that without any extra hardware and you can still be called on your phone during easy projection. Knuckle gestures. So you can do some nifty things by simply tapping the screen with your knuckles. You can easily take a screenshot by knocking on the screen two times. Or for those who enjoy split-screen multitasking, this feature would be much handy since you can easily bring it up by knocking on the screen, followed by a single line across the screen. As far as screen recording is concerned, it's easier to bring it up by just two taps on the screen. Eye comfort. So to protect your eyesight and to reduce eye strain, Huawei's latest EMUI 8 comes just like the older versions with eye comfort. This mode helps to filter out the blue light to relieve visual fatigue. Now once you have enabled the eye comfort mode, the screen will have a yellowish tint and will automatically adjust the color temperature to lessen the strain on your eyes. So if the screen is too warm for your taste, you can also manually adjust the screen temperature in the settings. Translate any text anywhere. With the Microsoft Translator on board, you can instantly get a translation for any foreign text, with translations appearing in AR style over the original words. Just point your Huawei phone's camera at the text and your translation will appear, with support for a wide range of languages. EMUI 8 also allows you to download a selection of language packs 
which allow you to translate at will without any need for an online connection. This is definitely handy when you head abroad to places without a reliable signal. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're now here at the end of this video and I really hope that some of the tips and tricks are helpful to you guys or at least that you didn't know them before. So from my personal experience I think it's really nice to see how EMUI has evolved. I still remember back in the days when I got my first Huawei smartphone and I came from a stock Android phone and the experience was kind of different, but I think nowadays EMUI has evolved really a lot. We have the latest version of Android, we have a lot of great features built in. It's super smooth coming from a Galaxy S8. This is actually totally different to touch with, way smoother in my opinion. And the Mate 10 Pro is really one of the smoothest operating smartphones I have ever used. So well, I hope that you guys did like this video. If you liked it, then please like this video. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments. So questions about EMUI or about the smartphone itself, and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet. Have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.